Now in this next section, we're going to add some <coughs> Pico lines to the GUI and a SIP extension. All right, so we go to setup. Let's go to extensions. Let's first add a generic SIP device. So I'm going to add my Astro phone, but the same will apply to any IP device, IP phone you want to add. Click submit. Given an extension, I'm going to call it 1100. I'm, since it's an Astro phone, I'm just going to call it Astra. You can add an outbound caller ID if you want, a DID description. All this stuff is available, but not necessary. For my password here, I'm just going to call it 1100, the same as its extension. This is not generally recommended, but in this simple example, that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to submit those changes. Now let's also, Pika comes always, the warp, with an FXS extension on the baseboard. So you will always have one FXS extension. So let's add it to our extensions. Pika modules are added as custom devices currently. Hit submit. Let's call this extension 1001. We're going to call it phone. We can give it an outbound caller to guess before anything else we want. This is where we add our custom dial string for the Pika FXS port, which is simply Pika slash fxs slash one since it is the first fxs port in the system being the one on the baseboard if you had additional fxs modules this number could be anywhere from two to nine depending on whether you had one or two fxs modules in your warp let's enable voicemail for it simple password and submit and we have two extensions now a zip phone and a generic FXS phone. Let's also add a trunk while we're at it. Now Pika trunks are added as custom trunks. So we'll hit the add custom trunk. We can give this an outbound caller ID. Let's give it Pika's phone number. This also takes a generic dial string, which is Pika slash FXO this time, since it is an FXO line. So if one And let's submit that change. We've now added an FXO trunk to the system. Let's apply the configuration changes. Let's go back to our system status. Now we've added our SIP phone, but we haven't configured it yet. So this is my phone, my Astro phone. So I'm going to go to its SIP settings. This is already pointing at my server because I configured it earlier for when I had it enabled. But we have changed its phone number, authentication name, and secret. So let's change them in the phone. Go down here, save our settings in our phone. Let's go to the phone and restart it so that its settings take effect. And wait for the phone to reload. Now this is the Astro GUI, but the GUI on your phone will likely be something similar. It will have a place for the IP and your secret and your login name, all of which are in the extension for the SIP thing. Now, as we wait for the phone, too low. Let's just see if it's registered yet. Still not rebooted. This phone will be up in a minute and then we shall see it in the GUI when it registers.
while we're waiting to the phone register, let's check out what channels we have in our box. If I go to the CLI, I can type in Pika Show Channels and execute it. So you can see in this box that we have an FXO module and an FXS module. Channel number one, which we added earlier, is the FXS on the baseboard, but we also have channel two to five available so we can add them. This is a good way to see what hardware you have in your system. We can see now our IP phone is registered. So we have now added two extensions and a trunk.